restoration. Today on Restoration, favors rendered are considered a blessing. As much as we try to hold back sometimes, we end up giving in, especially when it is for someone we call a friend. If not for Grace, this music video would have been the last time and shoot for our guest all in the name of a favor. For the very first time, opening up about her tragic accident and her miraculous survival, please let's welcome actress Nanama Mac Brown. <laughs> I was calling you, I knew you were going to be very dramatic. You're full of drama. I can't live without it. <laughs> <laughs> Nana, how are you? I'm very good, Akia. First thing I want to ask you, what did you do to lose the weight? That's what a lot of people have been asking. Wow. You know, losing weight, it's, it's like a whole year job. It has not been easy, but I feel very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Yes, very, very, especially for him. Anyway, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> it wasn't easy. And, and don't forget, I was paid for. I was paid to lose weight. So, wow. I, I, yes, everything I do, I get paid for. <laughs> I joke on TV, I get paid for. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, let's talk about that episode that really made the news. Because I remember where I was. The first call I had was from England. And the person was like, is it true? I said, it's what true? He said, Nanama is involved in an accident. I said, oh, it's a lie. Because I had spoken to you the night before. Yes. So I called your sister, Jemai, and she said, it was true. Huh. What you, really happened? You, you're lucky. The person said, is it true that Nanama is in an accident? <laughs> When they called my sister, they were like, is it true that Anama is dead? Wow. Yes. Um, what happened, Stacy? Oh, I didn't want to talk about this. And I don't want to be hypocrite. You know me, if I'm yeah, talking. Yeah, I, I need you to open up. I will open up. <laughs> open up. You know, um, is this thing that we all do for ourselves mm -hmm. in this industry? Ha. <sighs> Should I go on? Yeah, Nana. Okay from the horse's own mouth, because we've had so many versions. Hmm. All right, let me go straight to it. I was there one day, and I had a call from hmm, the group called Pryor. Actually, they are friends to Maxwell, so they told him they would like that I do their video with Amanda Jesse. So I was like, oh, video dear, you know I'm not mm -hmm. into that. I don't want to. You know, sometimes or day week as I want to be yeah. you know. So when Max was like, Oh, yo, do it for them. They are my friends. Like, oh, okay, I will. So it was on and off. We went to shoot a bit in on the Spinters Road and then they had to schedule because the location wasn't ready mm -hmm. for uh, an a nightclub scene. I went back and forth, Kumasi, just to shoot this for them. Sometimes when I'm working, they'll call me and say, oh, we are shooting this Friday. Can you make it? You know where it's from. So yeah. I, I, there's no way I could have disappointed them. So I came to Accra. It was a Thursday night. We wanted to shoot it on Thursday. So when I came, they were like, oh, we couldn't get the place, so we have to shoot it on Monday because weekends, uh, clubs are busy. Yeah. And I said, OK. I went to Kumas, and I came back on Monday for them. When I came back, they were like, oh, we are sorry. We have to shoot it tomorrow. I said, oh, my God. Oh, do you? A day. Then we do for love. <laughs> Part one and two. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to wait. And in the evening, uh, in the morning, I spoke to them. Is it coming on? They were like, yeah, no, yeah, no. That was Monday. So in the evening when they called, they were like, we have to shoot it tomorrow. I honestly, I told Maxwell, I am not doing it, okay? Because I was tired. Mm -hmm.
going up and down. And forth. Yeah, plane tickets. It was just my own cost, and I felt like I can't do it. I'm tired. So on the Tuesday, they were like, "We have to shoot it," and I said, "Max, I am having a serious headache, so they have to postpone it." And they were like, "Oh God, do it for them, Nana. You've started." I said, "Yes. I'm not saying I won't do it. I will, but I'm not feeling okay. I'm having a headache." I decided not to go. So in the evening, they called me. I didn't pick it. They started calling Maxwell. <laughs> and Just like know, I would do. <laughs> oh, okay. I, me and you, we, we are, you see I'm calling you okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are from way, 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 way back, you know. So I can do uh, anything. anything for you. So on the Tuesday evening, after coming home, from my daily runs, when I go home, I was having this headache and I told Max, I want to take uh, some painkiller and sleep. So they started calling him and he was looking at me. I said, please tell them, let me disappoint them today. I am not feeling okay, I don't want to go. So he couldn't stand the pressure that to say, I'm a please go and do it for them. You, you, you're done with it, just go and do the last shoot. And okay, I said, all right, I'll go. So I went. And they called again. I saw Maxwell coming downstairs. I said, yeah, where are you going? So I'm going with you because um, uh, prior, my friend said I should come with the Range Rover. I said, ah, I'm going with a small car. What, why, why are you going with the Range Rover? So because they want to use it to shoot the video. I said, oh my god. Again, the Range is DVD. We can't move it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't registered. It wasn't registered. So why are you pushing? And he was like, I'm a, if I don't take the car, they won't shoot yours. And you go and come back again. So just let me drive you, go, and then I said, honestly, I wasn't comfortable with it, mm -hmm. his suggestion, but I felt like, okay, let me just go and do it. Mm -hmm. Because he is ready to go with me yeah. in the uh, uh, DV plate. Un unregistered car. Yeah. So we went. <clears throat> After the shoot, it was about 30 minutes, one hour shoot. But you know how it is, lighting and everything. Mm -hmm. So we went around nine, eight, nine. We finished around one in Osu. So when we're going, you know, sometimes these things, when something will happen. Yeah, it dawns on you. It dawns on you. So after the shoot, I told Max, you know what, let's go to my house. And he was like, you know, tomorrow I'll go to work. He said, okay. So immediately we, 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 we decided to leave, go home. Mm -hmm. Amanda GC was like, oh, I didn't come with my car, so let's please drop me. I said, oh, OK, why not? We all do that to ourselves. So we dropped Amanda. Right in front of Amanda's house, I wanted to drive the car. You know, I just saw so from the house, something was stopping yeah, me. Just pushing you. Yeah. I wanted to drive the car, so Max was like, you're tired. Mm -hmm. Let me drive you. So throughout this incident, who was driving? Max, Max was, driving. was driving, yes. Okay. Let me drive you. I said, let me drive. He said, okay, come on, you are tired. You just finished working, so mm -hmm. let me, I said, okay, let's go. <laughs> About five minutes from Amanda's house. I don't want to say this, it's painful. No, it's It'll be fine. Stacy, it is. I know. It is very painful. We wanted to use the sprint, um, circle road for a minute. Mm -hmm. We had to use the N1. N1. So we went through, we went under the bridge from, from what's the, the place? From the overhead. Yeah, from Abilimpe. Yeah. Yeah, went under the bridge, mm -hmm. got on top of the N1, and then, <laughs> right after two minutes on the N1, I was on my phone in my seat belt. He was in the seat belt as well. So there's this game that we play. And when I was shooting, he, he was playing the game. So after that. So he had high points done you. Yes. So I, I wanted I to break the point. we all do it. Um, yes. So he was yeah, like, well, if, you can break, if you can break the record, yeah. it's $100. So that, sometimes we do it to mm -hmm. ourselves. It's OK. I'll break it and take the $100. I'll fill my car tomorrow with your money. We're just joking. So as I was on the phone, he was like, I'm a yahoo. So before I could just raise my head, it was happening. 
That's all he said. He was Ama Yehu. And Yehu no one ever I was asking him. I was asking myself in the car. Immediately, or before I could just raise my head, it was like we were acting a movie. I don't know if people, uh, you've watched this movie, Salt. There's a scene in Salt that is here with me. It was just like, I'm in Hollywood, <laughs> shooting. And uh, yeah, how did it happen? Was it a head-on collision? How actually, we, we were go going to Malam. Mm -hmm. And this car was coming from Abekan. OK. So I'm sure it was on Amber. And we have the right to go. Mm -hmm. So we're going. And suddenly, me, all I saw was Amayu. <laughs> and where, from, from, from the action, you could mm -hmm. see that a car, in which I know was coming from Abeka. Mm -hmm. So it hit Maxwell's side. But he wanted to avoid it. He wanted to save people. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm saying that is he wanted to save the driver, I mean, avoid. Yeah. But where he was going, there were about 10 taxis parked. There. So and the drivers were standing in between, you know how it yeah, is in the night. Yeah, they're waiting to pick someone up, so they always hang around. So he had no option than to get back to the street. So the car, I mean, I don't want to say hey, that, that all I saw was the action in motion. And before I could see anything, I was in the rain, the airbags are out. It was like smoke. Mm -hmm. And for a minute, I, I, I felt I, I'm dead. I just felt so. I felt like I've seen the president at our mills, the <laughs> former president. I, mean, I am not joking. Anyone who's gone through this trauma will tell you, in a minute, your life roll. Yeah, in a, just not roll a minute, in front of you. A second. You could see the good, the bad, everything you've done, and where you are. It happened all in about three, four seconds. So when everything was settled, as in when the accident was over, I was feeling like I'm in a cemetery or in a different mm -hmm. world. And I could see people. I could see about people. You see, when, when you're on picnic, mm -hmm. in groups, yeah. I could see about 10 people, five people, two people. And there's a long queue. That's how. <laughs> It was. So, when I came back to life, I'll say that. People said, oh, Kokoma. Mm -hmm. And then, no, 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 no. I got down myself. I was in a seat belt, so before I, I could realize, I, I, I wanted to open the door. the door. But I felt like, ah, where's my hand? I can't find my hand. Wow. So I, I turned to him, baby, are you OK? thinking that the car is coming from his end. Mm -hmm. So he will probably be hurt, not mm -hmm. me. So I just, I was like, are you okay, baby? And trying to turn to him and at the same time open, you know, you, you get yeah, confused. Yeah, you, you get so confused. I, f I, I realize I don't have a hand anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't feel my right hand. And all I could tell him is, Mo, Musati, because I could only feel the shoulder, but I, not the fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, just gone lame. And he was like, Ama, we are sure. I'm serious. Yeah. Somebody said, like, seriously, but it hurts. Mm -hmm. So he was like, Ama, are you sure? I said, yes, I can't find my hand. And then, so. You were talking after the accident. I spoke to him. I saw everyone around the car. I saw the taxi drivers. I saw everything. I saw everything after everything had settled down. Mm -hmm. When the airbags all had come, out. had come out, everything. So it was like, my, so I was looking for my hand. <laughs> I was looking for mine. I saw it not far from the seat. What? Yes. Hmm. I saw it inside. Just stuck. Stuck the there. Side. Yeah. But fortunately for me, I had some skin left. 
So as I was pulling it, it was the skin that made me realize, realize my hand is stuck there. So I had to find it, bring it out, bring this bit out. Mm -hmm. It was here. Oh, so sorry I'm wearing a, a long sleeve. Mm -hmm. So I pull it up, put it on my lap, and then I pushed the bone in. in. Because the bone was out. It's white. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel, I feel like the night. Mm -hmm. I can't move my hand. In. So when I, I brought it here, and I had to push it in, and I'm just, I just regret. I caught chalk it. I took brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> so then I could feel my hand, but only this bit. Yeah, the upper. The side. upper side. So I had to hold it like this. Because I feel like if I should leave it, na blood no ni na kwa, a bit stiff. And a bit stiff so I need to move my feet. So I held this bit, say, the blood here, there you you can flow, but I need these fingers to work. Yeah. So I held it like I owe him. He owes me. The hand owes me. And truly, I needed him. <laughs> so like this. I came down from the driver's side mm -hmm. with my back, and then I, I sat in a taxi. I left Maxwell, my bags, my mobile phone, everything. Restoration. <laughs> <laughs>
can change in your engine oil really change the world? Yes, because this is not just another crude oil. This is new G oil, ultimate biodegradable high performance oil made in the US of A for Ghana from renewable bio basis sources. So it's time to make the change official because if the G can run in the American Le Mans series, you bet your car can run on it too. New G oil, only from Green Earth Technologies. For more info, go to greenearthghana.com. For distribution, call 0544-310056. Coming to a filling station near you. Restoration. So it, it, it wasn't the taxi drivers who took you and put you in a taxi? No, no. You, you know, got up yourself. This is the first time I'm talking about my accident. And I got down myself. So there was this taxi driver who drove his car. And he was like, he came to park in front of me. He was like, but it's not cinnamon for Uncle. I sat in the car as he was going, I said, hey, I'm, I'm with somebody, find that person. <laughs> <laughs> as he was about to move, I said, no, 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 no. I, I realized now that I was yeah. with somebody. I'm with somebody, let the person come, else me come into me. And then I have my phone, let him bring the, the white phone, because I had my doctor's number on it. So immediately I sat in the taxi. I could feel that my, this place is very cold. The room. Very, very cold. Now blood was all over. But I was still serious with he, this place. Uh, <laughs> the hand. Yes. So when Max joined me in the taxi, I was like, I think that time uh, doctors were on strike or yeah, something. Yeah, I think so. I said, take me to any 37 or Kualibu. Because if you take me to any Mami, Mami Asantua Memorial or anything, they will still <laughs> transfer me to this place. So take me to 37. Or oh, Kualibu is like 37 is closer. Let me take Kualibu, they are on strike. You don't get any doctor. Doctor, 37, you get somebody to take care of. Okay, then take me there. For a minute, I a state. I didn't feel any pain. Mm -hmm. But after Joe, the traffic light, I felt like my hand is in a mortar. Yeah, and then somebody hard. is pounding it. I could feel it. The pain. Hmm. Serious. Okay, I don't want you to go back. I don't want to remember that pain because you make it, me it cry, go. and I don't want people to think that I'm acting. No, no it's, no, it's no, not no. a movie. Seriously. No, no, no. And we, we have to talk about it because your fans would want to know. So many people reported differently. Oh. Some said the drivers picked no, you, no, no, no. put let you in say, a taxi. Let me say what I what my sister told me. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Ajima told me. Somebody said you were giving Max blow Joe. I said, me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, me. I'm not sharing it with anyone. So we have all the time. I have my own house. So we can start from the bedroom to the kitchen mm -hmm. to wherever. And he's the got his own house, house too. And he has his own house too. So anywhere we can do it. Not in the car. My safety is more important. And we don't do that. But I know people do that. That, but we don't that do night, that. when you were shooting, was there any drinking? Did anybody oh, drink? Yeah. You know I don't take alcohol. Okay, I'm, I'm I wasn't asking, driving. These though. are questions people have been asking. So okay, I won't deny this. Maxwell drinks. He takes alcohol. Mm -hmm. Actually, he only takes it on weekends. Okay. Because he works from Monday to Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I know him. He will take it only Friday night or Saturday. Sunday he doesn't drink. Because you go to work. He leaves the house like six in the morning. Mm -hmm. So that very night. I can bet. It was a weekday. It was a weekday. There was no alcohol in the system. No alcohol, no one. I didn't see anyone taking alcohol that night. Because we were just shooting at the entrance. It was an exterior shoot. Mm -hmm. So lighting outside, we're just standing, sitting in a car, talking. I didn't see anyone taking alcohol. And I didn't see Maxwell drinking, taking alcohol. No. There was no alcohol. It was just. It just had to happen. Mm -hmm. So when did you pass out? Because people pass said you were in coma. Pass out from to secondary or when? <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> or from soldier to police or when? 
our grandmothers would say, oh, collapse it. Hmm, Ekuya. Oh, why, why from this Ekuya? Pardon me, but... You, you, you're pardoned. <laughs> it shows how stay, close we are. You know, stay. I, I do remember everything when we got to the hospital. From the night till about five in the morning, I do remember. For about six, I think so. When they were pulling me to the theater for the first surgery, I saw it. I passed out when we got to the theater. But I think that was maybe chloroform or something. Yeah. I didn't pass out. So there was no coma? No coma, nothing was there. Chloroform, you know, as a mm -hmm. theater there, when you go there, yeah. you are when you cry, they will give Ubeko it to you. Unko. Uh -huh. Uko, <laughs> <laughs> so I was from the theater that happened. And I think I, sh I should say this. We should be very careful when we, we are in such situations. Because if you don't take a lot of people attend to you, mm -hmm. and everyone will bring... Will mishandle you. What I realized was like, I had a lot of people around me. But I, had, I think I should say that, pardon me, but it's very hard. I, let me just be real. I think I had excess of painkiller or something. Mm -hmm. I think so, because from uh, from the night to the morning, anyway, it is their duty because mm -hmm. I was in pain. But I think it was a lot of painkillers, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't know the quantity each one is giving me. Mm -hmm. I had about five, six painkillers injection before morning. Mm -hmm. So it is something we should be very particular, very careful, because uh, me, I needed it. But I ask, is it, was it the right thing to do? So you'll be Michael Jackson? Uh, but me and my life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, I didn't pass out. It was from the theater. That's when I went off for about almost two days. Okay. Two days? Mm. Almost. That's extremely long. Yes, it was on and off when I come back. Yeah, you oh, come God. feeling a little bit dazed, yeah, then you nah, go nah. back. Even after my second surgery, I almost died. Because wow. everyone will wake up after two hours or so, or three hours. Mm -hmm. I had to wake up the following day. Wow. When they brought me to the ward, I passed out. Because I was okay when the doctor brought me, but for whatever reason. Immediately I got to the room, I went off again. They had to bring oxygen, everything to the ward, um, Yasanto ward. And it was the following day that I could see my mom, Maxwell, and the family. So it, it wasn't an easy journey. And I'm still in pain. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I can't raise a bucket to go and bath. Oh. And you know, sometimes we all don't have water. Yeah. Although we have the extra, or mm -hmm. I mean the tank and all, but sometimes I'm saying this because of my work. I work with the villagers. <laughs> we are villagers, but let's say because we are in yeah. town, sometimes we forget ourselves. Um, my movies, my work takes me to the village, and some there are some things, some you no one can do it do for you. Yourself. Yeah, you have to do it yourself, and because of that, there are lo a lot of roads I have decided not to. Because if if I don't take care, I'll get hurt again. Yeah. And uh, hmm. I feel very, there's something in me, I have to say it, I have to push it, I have to pour it out. Yeah. <sighs> With a group prior, I have something in me, I want God to forgive me. I, I'm keeping something about them in me, which I don't know how to get it out. Why? Because. I was in a hospital, and they came that very night. Everyone came. Uh, we were shooting with Ohinijan, mm -hmm. Abraham. He came there, Praye, Tietia, and then Honeho. They came there back. Can you believe? After that night, I didn't see that short man who was giving me pressure to come and shoot that video again. I've never, I've, I've never set eyes on him. You're joking. I am not joking. I know I'm a joker, but I'm not joking this time. <laughs> Eugene and the wife came to the hospital twice. Praetetia, he never bought it. Meanwhile, he was calling me. He was calling my phone every day every for day. the shoot. But that very early morning, he came there. He was like, Max, 
Hmm. After everything, then when the doctors were around yeah. me, they gave me a bed and everything. He said, oh, I'm going home to Bath and I'm coming soon. I don't know if soon is tomorrow. <laughs> yes, and that particular guy, I have told God I don't, want, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to see him cry in my life. I don't want to see him around me. But you, you just have to let go sometimes. That is why yeah. I want to know how I can let it go. It is painful, and sometimes people will cover. I won't call. I'm saying this on TV. You called my phone. You kept on calling me. You, I mean, it was more than two weeks. Every day you'd be calling, texting, giving me dates. When I had the accident, that very night he came there in the morning, and I've never set eyes on him. Now, can, can you do a little mama. exercise? Exercise? Yeah. Why not? Okay, hold my hand. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's okay. Okay, I know what you want to say. Okay. Father, forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Yeah. It's, it's so painful. I, I know where you're coming from, and hmm. you would understand me better because you saw me when I was sick and how I had to forgive so many people to get well. So just let it go. They can only hurt your body. They can't hurt your soul. My soul is not for them. Yeah. My soul is for God. From it. the one that I started my work, acting, people think that you see it on TV and it's mm -hmm. beautiful. No doubt. It's very beautiful. But the attacks you get, you have no idea. I've been poisoned on set twice. Yeah. I've been admitted in, we call it G, Confanoche, for two weeks without food. Sorry. I went home with a bout. 40 drapes or 45 injections, I can't count. You know, so my soul, dear, not even, it's not for my mother. <laughs> it is for God. So now we, we, we forgive prior to it here. Going on, whilst you were in the hospital, there were so many rumors going around. A woman came out to say you were with your driver and not your boyfriend, and she claimed to be your auntie or your mother. Oh, yes. Who was that woman? Yeah, she is my auntie, Mama Benis. Yeah. She's my mom's big sister. Actually, you know how it is. It is natural um, because um, me and Maxwell, we're not married. We are... Courting. Courting. Yeah, courting. Courting, sleeping, courting. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh my God. because if you say courting, that means in, in, in the sight of God, no, we are genuine. We are not. <laughs> we are not genuine. We are courting, though, but we do it. Um, <laughs> you see, they, they don't want me to tell the truth. Oh, yeah, you know you're telling it. They're just enjoying it. <laughs> okay, we are. So basically, because we haven't, Maxwell hasn't performed any right, my auntie didn't know who at that particular time now was with. Okay. Because he, she doesn't live in Accra. But fortunately, that night, she was in Accra. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I used to have a driver. And honestly, I speak to her like two months, three months, mm -hmm. sometimes six months mm -hmm. in Kasai. Yeah. So he, she didn't know who I was with mm -hmm. till after that interview. And that's when my mom came and said, no, it was her boyfriend. I used to have this driver. So she felt like I was with the same the driver. driver. And I'd met Maxwell, that was about six months or so. And honestly, I had not seen my auntie. I hadn't seen her. So she didn't have the details? Did, no. But my mom was, my mom was there. Family members were there. My mom from Kumasi, my brothers, they were there. And everybody knows Maxwell. So until that time, you know me, they had not write that one mm -hmm. when my mom said, no, um, it, was it was my boyfriend. Yeah. But rather they wrote, wrote negative one, yeah. because that was sell. 
you know. So pardon me, Maxwell. Later, um, she apologized to Maxwell, and everything is that cool. Is okay. Mm. Restoration. You can see it. From what you're saying, you do believe in God. I saw the president, the former president at a mills. Hmm. My baby's party. Ah, what people? We could kind of big surprise. We a special drink. We don't cry. We don't cheer. Then Jimmy, you know what party that is? Oh yeah. Surprise, baby. I brought you special drink. Cola, ginger, and apple. All for this part. <laughs> that is what everybody oh, is drinking here. Oh, how? That's a special drink there. And no one I had a service visitor, Sophia. She a boy's boy here. She has special drink. No, and no one here anymore. Come to say, special drink. And no one here in here no. Many of you, Papa. And the The all new special drink comes in different flavors. Special orange, special ginger, special apple, and special cola. Special drink, naturally tasty. Real plan estate at the Nija Seminum. As I said, a year Japadia. As I say, a dear, you talk a bocca. A free crane, they call Dodo Wadi a quaint yawa. Dodo wants I see and crop for tonna boarding. Yet, yeah, you're tonna for four foot. 2,000 Ghana cities. Ye bet you be yama. One thing here. 2,000 Ghana cities. Do do wasa si crudging. Real plan estate si pe ene bet ma ye we yama. Fa huma truf we. Nefre real plan estate. Emprem prem ya. 0272-89-89-89. Ana 0272-89-89-88. We a ye promotional price. One ka huwa e be senjao. Fresh is ya. Can changing your engine oil really change the world? Yes, because this is not just another crude oil. This is new G oil, ultimate biodegradable high performance oil made in the US of A for Ghana from renewable bio basis sources. So it's time to make the change official because if the G can run in the American Le Mans series, you bet your car can run on it too. New G oil. Only from Green Earth Technologies. For more info, go to greenearthghana.com. For distribution, call 0544 
3100056. Coming to a filling station near you. Restoration. So how many surgeries have you had since the accident? So far, two. I'm about to have uh, the third one, which um, I, last week I went for an x-ray. Thank God the bone is joining. joining. So I still have the metal in there. Mm -hmm. After that, I'll go and take out the metal. Then I can dress the skin to have some smooth skin. Mm -hmm. See if <laughs> 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 But anyway, I am still complete. No, nothing, unless, unless the bones are rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Nana, how, how do you manage to keep a smile throughout all these drama? Stay. You know something. You know me naturally. This is me. Yeah. Until they give me a script, I will add some. But naturally, this is Nana McBrown. Even when I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> It happens, you all get broke sometimes. Not like broke, 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 but hey, there's some money you don't chop. Yeah. Even when you are there, you don't chop them. Yeah. Right? So the ones that are in my handbag, in the account that I can chop, even when they are finishing, we still have to, have to smile because yeah. this work, you know, the, the public will not know how you feel. It's, you know, it's natural yeah. that sometimes you wake up in the morning, you don't even feel like talking to your own child. Yeah, yeah but sometimes with this kind of job, even when, like I say, you're not in a good mood. Hi, Nana, my hand. Hello. <laughs> and when you finish, you realize, yeah, the problem is still there. <laughs> so um, naturally, a jovial person. And because of the job, too. I don't think I have a photo that I found before. No, no. Uh -huh. So every time smile. Every time. And I, I have to smile for my fans. Yeah. I have a lot of fans. Yeah. I have both ceiling fans and standing fans. So, <laughs> so sometimes. Back to being saved by grace. Who are some of the doctors God used to save you during the time of the accident? Okay. I do remember a few names. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm saying that, you know when you are standing, you go to a hospital, you have about 10 doctors around you. You know it. That it's one. True. That Everybody comes to check on you. going to buy food crack, to save you first. Mm -hmm. and those you know, so when I went there, there was this guy at the hospital. I say this, he's called Abiola. <laughs> yes. When we went there, he was the first person we met. And That's upon seeing us, hospital. yes, holding my hand and blood was just all over the floor. He was telling, he told me to go and get a card. <laughs> go and get a card from the next block. And you know, sometimes in accidents like this, case. you leave your bag and you are not even holding money. Honestly, we're not holding money. Abiola told me to go <laughs> <laughs> to the next block to get a card. Until somebody came, a doctor came out, and then he was like, oh, let the next person. I say, we are two. I know Maxwell can go, but we're not holding money. But I can assure you this one, they won't credit it to pay. <laughs> He sat there for about 20 minutes without paying attention. You're kidding. Yes. I'm saying this so that the, the, uh, the authorities, authorities will, 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 will sit up yeah. because it was bad. In my presence, I think somebody died. But I'm not here to complain. I'm here so that we all, you yeah. may not we know each other's keeper. Will, yes. Yeah. So that they put things in order in there. Order. Until a doctor came and some other people came, military people heard from other wards until they came. But my doctor who came there was Dr. Srebo Frank. He is at uh, Confanoche. Yes. That very day, he was in Accra. Wow. I had spoken to him in the afternoon. He was like, no, no, I'm in Accra. I said, Doctor, don't worry, I'm going for lunch. And I didn't go. He browned him. Oh. <laughs> I didn't go. That very night, he was the first person I called. So after 30 minutes, when we got to the hospital, he came with a friend who had worked uh, at, 37. at 37 before. So he came, and there was about three doctors. He came to help them fix it. But the doctor that did the surgery was Dr. 
Romeo a Japon. And he's I think still he, in charge. Yeah, he did a good job. Yes. He did a oh, good I, job. I just wish I could take off. Yeah, maybe you can just roll the sleeve. I, yes, can I, please help me. Help I want you. to show Ghana. But it's in the movie, so. Yeah, but they don't really oh, observe. Oh, 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 why did I do this? Why did you wear long sleeves? Why did um, I do For a minute? Yeah, I think. Can yeah. the camera get it? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yes, here it is. Yes. A tear from her, a bar to her. You can see it. And the car no no can cry we get off from. Hmm. So I thank God, I can wave with it at least. <laughs> but Emma, are you amazed you live? Am I amazed you're still alive? Oh, what okay. here? If you have 20 billion in your account and you are dead, what do you have? Nothing. Nothing. I am lucky, Papa. <laughs> I will say thank you to God. I am very happy, very amazed. I am lucky to be alive because people don't see what I saw, yet they don't come back. So I, 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 I would say I, I'm fortunate. Okay, because when I got to the hospital, they couldn't find vein. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't pray that you get acid I do. Mm -hmm. Don't. They searched everywhere. They couldn't find any vein because of the shock. They wanted to shave me. Uh, yeah, because they were saying whoever or whatever it is, they could get the vein here. They tried under my feet, everywhere. Yeah. So you could see that I, I almost say bye-bye to the world. But I thank God that I've, I've been given the second chance to see, to see the world, the life again. And from what you're saying, you do believe in God? Yes. I do believe in God. What is that one special thing you wish God would add to the many you have? Okay. You know, any time I'm talking to God, I ask him to bless me. Not bless like increase my account. If he do that or if he does that, I'll be very pleased. But that's not the first, uh, that's not the priority. I ask him, God, thank you for today. Yes. And I'm asking you for another life because I want to see tomorrow. If you can give me life tomorrow day, then you have to bless my job. <laughs> that is my prayer. I don't ask God, God, I'm going to work, take care of me. No. God, thank you for everything. Forgive me my sins. I pray that you give me life. You give me the chance to live, to see tomorrow morning again. And as we keep on seeing tomorrow, we have life. Yeah. So in everything, whoever you are, don't ask for money. Don't ask for children. Don't ask for anything. First, ask for life. <laughs> because if you have life, then you can have everything. everything. So me, dear, that my job put food on the table for mm -hmm. me every day. And I know God will keep me. It's only Ghana that they will retire you. <laughs> In Ghana, that in every job they want to retire you. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, watch it. Me, why it's not football? It's true. You know? So, my work there, I know God gave it to me. I didn't go to any school. Mm -hmm. I learned it from the in field. The and I knew what I wanted. So, immediately I had a chance. It was like a bomb. Everybody saw it. So, since that time, I've told him, God, you have given me this job. So you have to be able to protect me throughout. But first, I want you to give me life. And now I ask for double life because first I was just saying life, life, life. Now I say life because I want to live again. I've seen death. Oh. I saw the president, the former president at Amels. Hmm. Anyone who will be here and uh, let's say I've gone through what I've yeah. been through, will tell you the same thing. Whoever is watching me at home will tell you. When you go through that shock, you see death, you see dead people, you see things that are not normal. Yeah, normal. You know, so I hope that cue there was for heaven. 
Because I saw the president. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, are you able to drive? Because some people will be so traumatized, they will not even be able to touch a car. OK, in my whole life, I think my own, no, my accident twice. My no one, then a major one back home. My no one there, I hate somebody's but us. I would say, say, chew, you because of the bobby too. And I hate somebody's car, my no one. I fixed the light, and that was it. The second one, I was in my first car, it was Tico. Hey, she's saying. You think we all be buying uh, for, 4X for every, <laughs> the first time? My grandma say 4X4. We won't buy 4x4 four four all the time. Um, my first car was Tigo, Tico. So I had an accident with it. Um, driving again, driving is something I love. I love to drive, 247. So the courage of driving again in there, that means if I, if I can't drive again, that means I don't want to leave again. Mm -hmm. And since I have life, I can do everything. Okay. You understand? I have life. So driving there, it's Coco. Mm. I've been driving. I, I, I've been driving to Kumasi up and down. I drive on set. The reason why I don't like drivers is they are gossipers. Your car is your office. Your car is your bedroom. You know the work. We have shoes and things in our car all the time. So. Every day you'll be talking and then you'll be transferring yeah. your, your conversations. You know, you and I, if we sit on this, we're going to go two hours. I'll come Nana. back. Yeah, you have to come back okay. for other topics. Yeah, you didn't ask the questions. I'll, I'll, I'll send them to you. <laughs> and I'll like to say a very big thank you to you for coming today. Okay? Am I done? Yeah. yeah. Hasn't she been amazing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I always so keep much. telling her that Nana, I know you so well. We've been friends for how many years? Fifteen years now. Yes. And when she's lying, I know she's lying because there is a particular face she makes when she's lying. She wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't lie today. Everything was on point. Because you, know, you didn't wear that face today. No, no, no. Thank you so I've much. I've stopped lying. Amen. <laughs> Ever since I had a second chance to live, my face I do things accordingly. I, I, according I, to, not I, according from. No, not from. <laughs> and I'm always straight. Even in my house, they, they, they've been saying, ah, Nana, what's the son? I say, yes, because I want to go to heaven. <laughs> the only thing that now, if God comes, I won't go is because of Mpranche and small. Anyway, I say thank you for having me. You're and I'm very honored to be here. And uh, I say keep watching Restoration. I'll be right back after three months. <laughs> <laughs> It has been amazing today with my crazy friend, Nana Mama Brown. And like I always say, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you same time next week. Welcome to the end of the tunnel. I see a bright light shining through. And it's just for you.